Hello, anatomy and physiology students. Um, on February 1st or February 2nd, depending on if you're A-day or B-day, or B-day or A-day, I should, I should say, um, you're going to be answering questions in a do now slash checkpoint. So this is what you should be doing from the at the beginning of class and then turning in your project. So I'll talk about that uh, here in a few minutes. So uh, today I am feeling. So you're going to respond here how you feel. You're going to respond with, uh, you can't miss this question. I just want to know which skill do you think is the most critical to your success today? And then you're going to look at this diagram that we've been looking at in the last few days. We know this diagram is about the normal diffusion of glucose into cells because you're going to answer why you think that is by looking at that diagram, by analyzing it. It means looking at each part, each symbol, whether it's color coded or shape, like you'll notice structures or using the vocabulary words. Then you'll do this new eyes. What is the image trying to communicate? We've done that before, but I've got a multiple choice for you here. Uh, your goal today, your strategies, anything you want to share with me. First name, last name. And then uh, some of these are same questions you've seen before, but I've reworded them or I've provided an image or a different image. Um, and I've given some more points than others. My hope is that you'll be successful and also that we'll understand what you're missing and you'll understand what you're missing. So when you finish this uh, quiz and you'll be using your materials from the 4.4 project, you'll be turning that project in. Um, and your familiarity through that project with your uh, describing the consequences of, um, in this case, a disease related to the cell membrane, the movement across the cell membrane. But I'm going to show you how to uh, turn that work in. So you'll see on Google Classroom, do now February 1st or February 2nd if you're A-Day, and I've made a copy for each student um, so that they can watch and listen to this video I'm making right now. They can open the slides in your work below and insert photos of your project poster, then turn it in. Uh, what if you have problems inserting your photos? Well, you need to take a screenshot of your photos so that it saves as a JPEG, J .jpg. That will allow you to insert it into a Google slide So here's what this slide presentation looks like. It says, insert photos of your project work in the following slides. Watch this video that you're watching right now if you need help on the exit ticket as well as the checkpoint retake. Um, title, normal diagram with effects, abnormal diagram with effects, etiology, interesting facts. They can all go here. You'll insert those. Now, I've done really an example of all of these already. But I'll show you now if any of you who don't know how to insert. So you go up here to insert, insert image. You can upload from computer or your device if you'd saved it in your Google Drive, um, wherever you drew it, or maybe your teammate drew it. This is how you do it. Let's see. I'm going to, what am I going to do? You could watch me struggle around for what this looks like. This is title, right? Where's my title? Of course, a student made this. So that's a JPEG. So this is just title. So I'm going to crop this. Oops, I did that wrong. Double click there. That's called cropping. There we go. There's my title. Put it on there how you like. No points off if you don't get it just right. But there you go. I can tell what, that you know what your title is. And so on. You'll do that with the normal diagram. Normal. 
Well, I could have just copied and pasted the one from the other one, couldn't I? And just adjusted the crop. So this is a normal membrane channel. So that's how you that's how you do it. So of course um, you need to do your team's work. Don't copy pictures off the internet or something like that. And when you've inserted those into these slides, you just turn it in right here on Google Classroom. So thank you very much. I'll be putting this video on right now.